Okay, so today I am going to be doing a tutorial for this look. Um, this look is actually inspired by a lady that I follow on Instagram. What is her name? Her name is Monique. Monique. Monique Abu. Monique Abu Makeup. I believe that's how she pronounced it. But this is the look right here. I'll kind of zoom in on her eyes so you can see it. It looks super, 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 super pretty. And when I got my Juvia's Place, um... Eyeshadow, to, to, eyeshadow palette I was I just happened to see her she came on my timeline and I went to her page and I was just looking through her pictures and I said oh my god I want to recreate that looks so 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 bad and these are the colors um so yeah I'll leave the link to where you can get the palette down below I don't want this intro to be long-winded because I don't want anyone your intros are too long but usually my intros are full with a lot of information that a lot of you guys still ask me sometimes but it's just filled with questions that I feel like you guys will um, ask me later on um, in the comment section so yeah um also before I finish um for my highlight I did something a bit different I used the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child um, um, highlighter kit that looks like this I used the color Lucky Clover which is a really pretty green um, highlighter and I also use the color Blue Ice, which is a really pretty, like, purpley blue iridescent highlight. Of course, you could just use a bronze highlight, which is what I would have used um, had I not just felt like I needed to use this palette because I did purchase it. So, yeah. Um, don't forget to like, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave us just the videos that you'd like to see down below. And I will talk to you soon. Hi guys, okay, so today I am going to be doing this eye look right here. Um, for this look, I'm going to be mainly using the um, the uh, Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place that looks like this. Um, it has some really pretty, pretty colors in it. And I'm pretty sure you guys have already heard about this um, eyeshadow palette and the brand. They are a, uh, I believe they are an African American owned company. So yeah, um, this isn't going to be the... Um, all black challenge or anything like that. A lot of you guys do like hearing about African American cosmetic companies and things like that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use the jumbo pencil in milk and I'm going to apply that all over my eye making sure that I bring it inside the inner tear duct and just drag it all across my eye. I don't bring it up super high because once you start blending it'll already just kind of spread out anyway. So I'm going to take this Morphe E23 brush. It does have a bit of concealer on there. So if you notice that the white, um, my white base turned kind of tan or beige, that's why I'm not putting anything else on this um, brush. But I did use it to blend out my concealer. Um, so yeah, that is that. So now that I have that blended out, don't worry, we are going to clean all of that up once we get to that portion. I'm just going to take my Soft Focus Finishing um, Powder by Black Radiance that looks like this. And I'm going, to, I'm going to use that to set that. It's just going to help transition all of those other colors as well since this is a powder. And it's going to stop that um, white base from creasing. I hate when my eyebrow itches after I've done it. Like, my eyebrow never itches until... And it's not even like a like an allergic type of itch. It's just like an annoying type of tingling itch. I hope that makes sense. But yeah. So now that I have that, I'm going to go in with the color. So I'm going to go in with Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek and it looks like this. This is going to serve as my second transition color. It's light, but you'll see why. It just helps with um, going in with the darker colors. Um, of this eye look so I'm just applying that a little bit in the crease and above the crease as well okay so next I'm gonna go in with Morocco by Anastasia now I am going to be using two different Moroccos but the first one that I'm going to be applying is by Anastasia Beverly Hills
this one has a bit more red to it than the next one that I'm going to be using which is why I'm using both it's a bit lighter but it has more red to it and then the next Morocco that I'm going to be using has a bit more orange you'll see what I mean once I apply it but there is a Morocco in the Juvia's, Juvia's Place um, palette And the brush that I'm using right now is a Luxie 227 brush. So next I'm going to go into the Juvia's Place uh, eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to use the color Morocco. My palette is upside down. So I'm going to be using this Morocco right here. And as you can see, it's a lot. It has more orange in it than the um, Anastasia one. So I'm going to take that same brush. And I'm going to really focus this in on the crease. So I'm just taking a clean brush and diffusing the first Morocco a little bit more. And then I'm just going to go back in with that Luxie brush and blend even more. So now I'm going to take an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and I'm going to take the color Cleopatra, Cleopatra right here which is this really pretty pretty blue color. And I'm going to take it. And then I'm going to take the other end of that brush and just blend it out. So before I apply the glitter, I'm going to go in with ColourPop's Game Face that looks like this. And I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to pop that right in the center. So for my glitter, I'm going to use the NYX glitter primer glitter primer that looks like this and I'm going to also be using my fingers for that I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger kind of dab it between my thumb and my middle and then place it right there so for my glitter I'm going to be using this matte glitter and it is I don't know but it's this glitter right here I can't read the pipe the bottom but it I got this like two years ago in a um what was it it was a holiday kit so yeah but you can use any um copper glitter so off camera I'm just going to go and apply my wing and my lashes the lashes that I'm going to be using are the Coco Goddess lashes that look like this um and I'll be right back Okay, so while my lashes dry, I'm just going to take Cleopatra. In the inner tear duct, I just took this um, glitter from GlitterMyWorld.com. This one right here. I, it is eye safe, I believe. And I just put it in my inner tear duct. So underneath, I'm going to take Cleopatra and just smudge it underneath my um, waterline. And I'm going to be using the same brush that I used before, which was my... Um, which was my... Um, and I got it in my hand right here. My Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. So I'm just going to go inside, go into it and just begin to go underneath. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color Mocha.
Next, I'm going to be using my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the color of Monday. So next I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance Contour Kit and I'm going to, next I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance Contour Kit and I'm going to be taking the contour um, out of the palette and using that to first kind of, it kind of serves as a contour and a bronze type of, so I'm going to use that first and then go in with my Makeup Shayla uh, Contour Kit to kind of deepen it up. So now I'm going to take the darkest color out of the Shayla Tarte Contour Kit right here and a Real Techniques brush and I'm going to use that to contour. I am, this is the completed look on my lips. I have my... Um, what is this? Maybelline in the color Darling Daringly Nude. I haven't worn this color in so, 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 so long. But it just looks like this. It's just like a pretty pink nude color. Um, I hope it's coming up on a camera. And the on the outer rim as my liner, I just have Max Chestnut. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to like, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.